Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreddity Report. What have I got today? Well, Stephanie McMahon, man, Stephanie McMahon noted that WWE just raised over $12,000 for the Connor Cure through merchandise sales. Sneak peek, uh, Best of Sting is going to be airing on the WWE Network for you guys to get the network. Uh, this Friday at 10 Eastern Standard Time after SmackDown ends on TV. And here's a little preview of what they uh, say is going to be going on. It says this week's peak gives you a glimpse inside the uh, seven hours of uh, the collection of the best matches and moments starring the franchise of WCW Sting. Be worth a peek. And it said that this past week that uh, even if WWE decides not to do a Cena versus Dean Ambrose on... Um, uh, Raw, with the winner facing Seth Rollins at Hell to Cell, they may definitely uh, end it. Well, definitely, let's see. They're going to be doing a scene, uh, scene of versus Ambrose feud eventually. Uh, and uh, noted uh, yesterday that the uh, scene of versus Ambrose match may actually happen as a Hell in a Cell opener. Don't know why they would do that instead of Raw. All right, noted before that the indie wrestler. Uh, Leva Bates worked a recent L-E-V-A. Uh, anyway, worked a recent uh, NXT TV taping, losing to Carmella, uh, and is expected that WWE is going to be bringing Bates back in for another look. I'm not familiar with her at all. If you know anything about it, let me know. And there's also been talk of having Triple H's new stooges, um, Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury, wrestle a match. Which would be a good match because they're real good wrestlers. There were injuries, I think, to both of them that kind of put them on the sidelines for quite a while. And, uh, of course, uh, Vince McMahon had his stooges. Triple H, by the way, have his. And uh, here's a synopsis and photo. Well, there's a photo online, anyway, of Cameron and Miz uh, appearance on Family Game Night, which I thought was on the network channel, but says it airs this Sunday at 7 Eastern Standard Time on the Hub, Hub Network. Never heard of that. Don't sound like I want to either. WWE recently added a WWE breaking news category to the original section on WWE Network and it currently is featuring two of Roman Reigns' updates from when he had emergency surgery. And speaking of surgeries and stuff, Jake the Snake Roberts wrote on Twitter that he was uh, following up with doctors yesterday to uh, check on his lungs after a recent bout with pneumonia. Why pneumonia starts out with a P, I never understand that. But anyway, Jake noted that uh, all the doctor's appointments that he's been going to uh, continue to give him hope with the battle that he will win. TNA, <clears throat> you know, I suspected this for a while. I got a feeling that TNA and Global Force Wrestling, I would think, would do this sometime or the other. Instead of going this way, this way. Uh, of course, a lot of egos involved. Anyway, TNA and Global Force Wrestling been in talks with uh, the same TV networks because uh, very few networks are interested in picking up any kind of pro wrestling lately. Uh, TNA actually has the upper hand over GFW because they're operational. Hey, they got history, they got stars under contract. Spike TV not renewing TNA may have changed the landscape of the business by not making it a lot harder, or may, by making it harder for uh, GFW to get a, a TV deal. Now another in interesting thing too is that TNA's potential network talks uh, that uh, most of the stations that they've been rumored of talking to and if they get the okay on the deal most of them don't air in Canada. Spike TV airs in most of Canada which uh, has always been a strong pro wrestling you know, area. That'd be hard to uh, just not have Canada unless you're on internet the movie, this is funny, I, I don't know why, but anyway, the, the movie Bridge and Tunnel, starring former WWE star Virgil, is currently in select movies. And I guess uh, you can look it up online and see where, where it's at, but I thought uh, that's where he was staying at, was under a bridge or a tunnel for a long time, Virgil, but somebody found him there one time, he was looking for some money or some work. Maybe it's about it. I don't know what it's about. I haven't checked it out. I'll check into it and see if it's like a, his rise and fall or something. But 
Santino Morella noted on Twitter he began his first day of working out yesterday, just two weeks after neck surgery, and noted Santino is looking to make a return to the ring after he retired. Since he retired, you're always looking for a return to the ring. Uh, next week will be Brandon Smackdown week on the WWE Network to go along with the Smackdown 15th anniversary special on October 10th. On October 10th, I would think we're going to see a lot of what we've just seen all year on SmackDown. And there's been a lot of talk of doing uh, John Cena versus Dean Ambrose, which I was talking about, coming up on a Raw with a winner facing Rollins at the Hell in the Cell. But the loser would f then face Randy Orton at the pay-per-view. They're going all different angles, but uh, reports that uh, current plans for Hell in a Cell with you know Cena and Ambrose with the winner of the event uh, with Rollins in the cell and the loser would face Orton also in a cell. So they could have. What WWE expects is to finalize the Hell in a Cell plans this weekend and make an announcement on Raw this Sunday or Monday. Uh, but uh, they may have two matches of Hell in a Cell, which I hope they have a Diva match in Hell in a Cell. Something new, different. All right, uh, Rey Mysterio, he was backstage at September 27th's uh, AAA Lucha Underground tapings in Los Angeles. Someone quickly photoed, uh, uh, tweeted a photo of Rey, but uh, it was quickly then taken down. JTG was also backstage. Uh, WWE's working on getting uh, the lawsuits that were brought against them based on the idea that they violated SEC regulations with the new TV deal is dismissed. That was, I think, some of the uh, investors. All right, there's been more talk about putting Rusev in a feud with the United States champion um, Sheamus after the current feud with the Big Show is over. The idea is Rusev will win and brag about being U.S. champion just to get heat. He's going to be U.S. champion. Hey, maybe he'll start waving an American flag now if he gets to be you. I'm sure it's going to be a U.S. champion. Just like a tongue-in-cheek thing for Vince, he likes to things like that. Anyway, regarding Vince McMahon reportedly uh, having a rule that no cast member of WWE Diva is to have a run with the Diva uh, title. It's been a rule behind the scenes, but uh, it was Cameron that recently talked about it on a Chris Jericho podcast. She said the whole thing uh, we have been fighting is being on the show means not being able to have a chance at the title. And most believe the rules because WWE officials don't want the title to be confused uh, due to a several month delay in the total divas being taped, which was only makes sense because, well, they're probably about two months behind on the TV show than uh, what's really going on. All right, WWE, if you got the network, tonight's NXT is Charlotte taking uh, takes on Bailey, uh, Hideo Atami uh, versus Victor. Baron Corbin versus Troy McClain, Simon Gotch and Aiden English versus uh, Ty Dillinger and Jason Jordan, Adrian Neville taking on Tyson Kidd, and the last chance match. All right, WWE's website has a new poll of asking fans besides Cena, who would they like to see face Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight title? Rollins, Ambrose, uh, Orton, Kane, Show, others. With over 24,000 votes, Ambrose is in the lead with 32%. Other has 24%. They're going to see somebody else. Orton's got 20. Other is beating out Orton, whoever that is. Anyway, show is 11%. Uh, Ron's 9%. Kane just 4 Former WCW uh, star L. Dandy turns 52 years old today, and this would have been the 48th birthday of champion uh, Yokozuna. And by the way, Havoc defeated Gail Kim on last night's episode of Impact Wrestling to become the new knockout champion. Havoc attacked Gail uh, earlier in the night and injured her shoulder and the match ended up in the main event uh, uh, on um, this week's episode. So just update you on that. Thanks for clicking you guys. I gotta go.